Hey guys, I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I am glad you are here. If you would, while you are here, please hit that subscribe button down below if you hadn't already. It helps me greatly. Feel free to like or dislike the video. That also helps. And uh, hit the bell notification icon if you want to be notified when I upload videos and go live on my live streams. So today I'm going to do something different and I'm not sure if it's going to work, but in all transparency I'm going to record this, we're going to go and see what happens, and then I'm going to upload it and we'll see what you guys think about it in the comments or in the lack of views or the views that we get. So as you know last week if you watched the channel, I used Lefty EDC Kevin's knife grading system to do my first battle video between the Jaeger and the God of Mischief. So I thought, how would that translate to a budget knife shootout? As you guys, again, I should not be assumptive, but if you watch my channel, I've done a couple of mini budget knife reviews, but I did my top five budget knives for 2022. Both of these, the CMB Predator and the Vosteed Raccoon were in that top five. And I also did the top five sliciest budget knives in my collection. Both of these two knives were in that um, top five as well. They both have great cutting geometry, different blade steels, which we'll get to, but they've both um, been sharpened by me. They both have a 17 degree edge that is to about 600 grit on Venive Scorpion Stones with the TS Prop 360 guided system. So the edges are pretty consistent but they have been used since they were last sharpened in a couple of videos. <clears throat> so, the way we'll do this is we'll look at each knife. I haven't put a lot of thought into this except perceived value, and I'll talk about that when we get to it. But haven't put a lot of thought into this and just wanted to kind of look at it objectively and as objectively as can be my opinion, right? So it's still my opinion, totally subjective, like it says here, all musings, uh-oh, this is my Refine Co. bolt-action pen. All musings are subjective and mean nothing. So, both of these knives I would recommend to my mom, any of my best friends, any of the tribe members in the community who I love. They're both fantastic knives. I'm not hating on either one. Both of them are great knives. So, at, now that that's out of the way, this is just kind of for fun, right? To see how the list comes out. So, price. When we look at these two knives, the Vosteed Raccoon comes in on White Mountain Knives before you put any discount on it for $59. The CMB Predator comes in at $70. So, our first one's very easy. We know $59 is less than $70. So, our first win for price coming in at a lower price goes to the Raccoon. This is the one I had problem with, perceived value. Because last time when I rambled through my no edit video, which my videos in all fairness do have an edit because I put the title screen and my little video intro that I stitched together in iMovie, but I don't ever go back and do cuts and edits in the video to change the quality or anything like that. Because I don't know how to and don't really have the time. But I hope they look good. I hope you guys enjoy the content. Last time that I did the um, perceived value, I kind of had it wrong. I talked to Lefty about it, and perceived value, duh, I should have known, is how the community or the secondary market reacts to the knives. Like last time, I had the Jaeger and the God of Mischief. If I had really looked at perceived value, which I had as a draw last time, if I looked at how quickly I could sell the Jaeger and get my money back versus how quickly I could sell the God of Mischief and get my money back or make a little money, the Jaeger would have gotten that point. It wouldn't have changed anything because the God of Mischief got all those other points. But perceived value, when I look at two budget knives, I don't think either one, and y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, they're both kind of limited production, but they're both available. Um, I don't think one's going to hold any other value over the other. So I'm going to give that a draw. Um, perceived value being resale value, does one hold its value more than the other? So aesthetics. Aesthetics is more subjective than anything that we talk about here, but I can remember what attracted me to this knife was when I saw little brother Jared Knees 
my brother do a review of this knife and I thought it was super cool. I'd never seen it before. I loved the look of the blade. I loved the aggressiveness of the blade. I love the swedge on the blade. I don't know if you'd call that a spear point, but I call it a spear point. It looks speary enough to me. It might be a drop point. I'm not the guy that'll tell you that, but I do love the sharpening choil here. You've got plenty of room. I like the way it just angles back because again, that's a place I can put my finger and I'm in no tr danger of cutting myself for detail cuts. So I really liked the aesthetics of this knife. I thought it looked really cool. Barn red micardo, you would not think would be my jam, but I really loved it. I loved it when I saw it on Jared's channel with the black hardware and the stone washer blade. And then the raccoon. I mean, this is one of those knives that is so neutrally ugly, I find it beautiful. I mean, I do. I absolutely think the satin blade, the angle of the, the handle, the, um, the lines are just gorgeous. The sharpening choils also done fantastically well. Um, but guys, this is subjective. And when I look at aesthetics, there can only be one in this. And I'm not going to think it's a draw because when I look at them both, I like the CMB Predators looks, and I'm gonna give that one to it. So Ergos, how does it feel when it's in my hand breaking down cardboard? This might or might not be cheating, but I've used both these knives to cut down a lot of cardboard. And what I'll tell you is the CMB Predator does have uh, steel liners with proud onset micarta handles, but they're contoured. So these are perfectly contoured. I don't even feel the metal liners because again, the scales are literally sitting flush and um, very contoured. I don't even feel that clip. So I'm gonna give it a death squeeze. And it's just very comfortable. Unfortunately, it's still a very comfortable knife but the Raccoon, which I can also get the same grips on, I don't lose any Cutability, they're both a joy. They slice through cardboard, but after a while, Crocodile, this guy's more angular. The clip is a little bit more, even though this protrudes out more, I think because these scales are contoured and the knife is altogether thicker, it is more ergonomical in my hand. Is it more ergonomical in your hand? I don't have your hand, but I would think that you might agree with me if you held them both. But I'm going to give the Ergos to the CMB Predator because it's got those nice contoured scales, not just the edges knocked down. They're both done fantastically well. This has inset steel liners, really nice treated micarta. It is that waxy, I call it waxy micarta, just like the Predator. The micartas are very similar, not that linen-y feeling micarta. Cutting. The fun part of the show so we'll take out another one we don't have a coupon book yet guys but we have cut through to july and now august so we hopefully will get a coupon book in the mail soon we will start our cut test with the cmb predator so what i'm going to be looking for here is doing my best to judge the resistance i'm getting in the cuts even though i know this blade geometry is not as thin as this blade geometry. Again, they're both 17 degree bevels on the edges and they were both were sharpened before the sharpest, um, my top five slicey um, budget knob video that I did last week. We'll see how they cut, how they sound, um, and just which one I think is a better slicer. Shavy, shavy without making too much of a mess. All right, I've cut enough of that piece of paper and made a big enough mess to know that the CMB Predator is mega hella slicey. So let's move it out of the way and let's see what the Vosteed Raccoon does to August.
Do a little carving, a little whittling. Look how thin that is. All right, guys. I don't know if you can tell what I can tell, but at 17 degrees, both of these knives, the raccoon, is much more slicey and I'm gonna I'm not Jared knees and I'm not somebody that understands geometry as well as those guys do but I can tell that this geometry is not as thin and as slicey as the raccoon and the raccoon just surprised me and I cut with it just last week in a cutting test and that is just amazing so let's do carry I'm gonna get my knife out of my pocket now, both of these knives have stainless steel clips. They both go in and out of pocket really well because they don't have that grippy micarta, so there's nothing to grab them on your pants. I am wearing khakis today. This is also a steel clip. When I flex these, this particular clip on the CMB Predator is stiffer, stouter than the Vastide, but they're both ample, so let's just see how they go in and out of my khakis do it a couple of times what I'm doing is seeing how it feels in my pocket and how it comes in and out of my pocket and either creates wear or I feel like it won't create wear and my pants are all weird because all right guys very subjective However, the raccoon is a thinner knife. That clip that has the little bit less tension goes in and out of my pocket a little bit easier, still with plenty of retention to make sure it's not gonna fall out of my pocket, even if I'm doing cartwheels. Nothing at all wrong to fault the CMV Predator, but this one being thinner and I feel a little lighter just gave it a slight edge because it was close to being a draw. So let's see how the action is on both of these. And when we talk about action, that's probably one of the most subjective things that people in the knife community get hung up on. I look for the reliability of the open and the shut. I can't just see which one drops shut, but I know from experience, I'm not horizontal now, but I know from playing with these knives that they both drop shut. They're both almost fail proof. I enjoy the way the springs and the CMB Predators feel very stout. It really sucks the blade back in, more so than a lot of axis locks that I have. Listen to this. I mean, I know it's not D10, it's a bar lock, but I think this CMB Predator has class A action. Now, the Vosteed has gotten some scrutiny, and understandably so, because of lock failure. Button locks are not as um, stable, is not as reliable as, say, a bar lock or um, a back lock. But I wasn't going to put that in the category here because I don't look at either of these knives as super hard use knives. But if you want to just give a um, shout out to the CME Predator. It would have a stronger lock, but it's not going to be a determining factor in this particular shootout. But the action, even though they are both fantastic, and by the way, my Vosteed is one of the good ones. It does not have lock fail, but I've seen plenty that do, and just out of fairness, Neither does the CMB Predator. And I never whack my knives spine whack. But guys, the Raccoon gets the action. It is smoother. It drops effortlessly. It deploys effortlessly. Um, it's got more ways to open. Um, I, just, I just think it's a win. So fit and finish. When I look at both of these knives, I think of the inset liner. They're both perfectly centered. They're both 
very well put together where you don't have any displacement between the stainless steel whoops let me get over here in the center there's no displacement between our steel scales our backspacer or our micarta um, scales and then on our raccoon we've got a really smooth transition through this micarta backspacer um, i don't know if this is g10 but this backspacer is here too but they're, again they're both done really well uh, I do like the fact that the raccoon inset, they're still liners. There's weight relief there. You can feel it when you carry the knife. There's also weight relief here. This knife does feel considerably heavier, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about fit and finish. Um, in terms of does one of these have surface flaws for a budget knife, I would say absolutely not. But I can't in good conscience give them a draw because this one, the raccoon, has inset liners making it thinner. This has loud and proud scale on top of liner. I think it takes more effort to inset the liner than it does to onset it. I might be wrong, but I'm giving that to the raccoon. And the materials and value. So when you look at materials and value, I look at what it's built with. And they're all both built with steel. They both have steel liners. They both have micarta handles. They both have steel, um, both have steel uh, pocket clips and hardware. They are both T8 pivots. The raccoon is T8 body screws. The CMB is T6. Oh, good thing I didn't sideways swipe my pinky. That could have been a bleeding on TV. That would have been crazy or on YouTube. D2 blade, 14C28N. Satin versus stone washed. Guys, I think the value to me would come down to the raccoon because of the blade steel. I've sharpened both of these knives. This D2 sharpens spurs up well. Um, they're, they're both, again, two of my top budget knives. That's why I wanted to do this shootout because there's no way it's this lopsided. Again, we're looking at just weird variables that some people find important, some people don't. If I did feather sticking or batoning, there might be a lot different results because this knife's a lot more heavy duty than the raccoon but this is lefty's list so i blame him or if y'all hate the reviews blame it on lefty we had come out to two one two three four five six for the raccoon so our winner is the raccoon and again guys just for fun just checking it out don't know what this video is going to be like but i am going to upload it let me know what you think Hope you like it. I'll put a um, little information about the CMB Predator and the Vestide uh, Raccoon in the description with links to White Mountain Knives, which at the current moment I think sold out. I'll tell you what, I'll put a link to Vestide's site, and if I can find CMB, I'll put it to CMB's site. Um, I don't have any affiliate links, but if you go to White Mountain, I'll put that link in there, come to think of it, because you can use Lefty 10 or you can use Tri-State 10 or somebody else like uh, Stella or anybody like that. I want to thank you every time you stop by the channel. I want to thank you all for helping me grow this little channel. It'll always be a little channel, and it's always about community to me. So what I ask is you please look out for the guy or gal to your left. You please look out for the guy or gal to your right. When we have debates, let's keep them civil. Let's move forward with love in our heart and choose debate over hate at every chance. I love you all. Peace.